Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm going to show you how to do this. This is absolutely beautiful. It's totally reversible. You can have it on this side and you can have it on this side. You can make this as big as you like You can make a blanket. But I've made a cushion cover, a cushion cover square. I'm and I'm going to cheat. I'm actually just going to stitch this onto a big cushion that I have. I'll just stitch it around the edge onto an existing cushion. This is a great way to revamp your cushions. It's fully reversible. Look at that. It's beautiful, this. This is a beautiful stitch. So the yarn I'm going to make this in this time is this. So this is called Paint Box. This one is a duck egg blue. And this one is a daffodil yellow. Now, these are 100% pure wool. Now, you might think, oh my goodness, really pure wool. On the Lovecraft site, these are £5.62. They're down in price from £7.50. And it is a pure wool. And it feels absolutely amazing. And there's a lot of different colours. These are the pastel coloured ones. There are stronger coloured ones as well. Now this is the duck egg blue. So even though this is 100% wool, you can put it, it's called superwash. It says superwash there. I've got the sunlight coming in the window again. I think I need to move my desk. <laughs> now this is called a superwash because even though it's pure wool, you can put it into a wool wash, a 30 degree wool wash in your washing machine and it'll come out brilliant. This is beautiful for baby clothes as well and for adults. If you want to make a nice sweater, it's also really nice for home decor as well. So these are the two colours that I'm going to use together and I'm going to use the duck egg blue for this crisscross colour that's in here so we'll get this sorted now I'm going to use a four and a half millimetre hook it tells you on the packet to use a four and a half millimetre knitting needle that's a US 7 or a four and a half millimetre crochet hook and that's a US 7 as well so what we're going to do is we're going to do a chain in sets of three. So you need it done in sets of three. So I'm just going to do my slip knot just the way I would normally do it. And I'm going to do a sample to show you. You do your blanket if it's a blanket or whatever it is you're making, whether it's a cushion cover or a blanket, make it three Make a chain as long as you want and do it in sets of three stitches. So that's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So once you've done your chain in sets of three, what you're going to do is chain two more, one and two. So what I'm going to do now is into that second chain in my hook here, the second one, I'm going to put a double crochet. If you're in the USA, that's a single crochet. So I'm just going into that stitch, pull my yarn through, yarn over and pull through. This is a really pretty blue yarn. We're going to chain two, one, two. Skip two stitches, skip one, two, and into this stitch we'll do a double crochet. That's a single crochet if you're in the USA. And we're going to do that all the way along to the end, and you should finish on a double crochet. So that's one, two, skip two, one, two, and double crochet. Chain two, skip two, and do a double crochet. And that's a single crochet if you're in the USA, all the way along to the end. So I'll get that done and I'll come back and show you what to do next. So I've got my last three stitches and I'm going to skip two and do my last double crochet into the last stitch in my chain. 
this yarn is really really nice it's really nice to work with i'm going to leave a link in the bottom at the bottom of the video to lovecraft's website where i bought this it's really worth it and for for five pounds sixty you can't buy pure wool for that price anywhere really and it's it's really it's going to crochet up beautiful so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to pull my stitch up and i'm going to put a stitch marker in now you can use one of these little plastic pins you can use a safety pin you can even just use a scrap piece of yarn just put it through your stitch like that and what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back to the beginning we're going back to the beginning I'm going to get my other colour so my other colour is this daffodil yellow this is a paint box 100% um, wool as well so I'm going to just set that up there I'll get my end and this is the colour that I'm going to use to make this part here. I'm going to do my clusters in this daffodil yellow. And with that blue, it's going to be beautiful. You might think, oh my goodness, you're not putting blue and yellow together. But look at that. These pastel shades are beautiful. So I'll pop that back up there. So just go to back to the beginning, that's the end of your chain, your little loops, go back to the beginning. Now that stitch, that double crochet that you put in here, just put your, put your hook through, loop over your yarn on your hook and just pull it through that stitch. I'm going to take my tail and just twist it over the ones to this side. And I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. Now into each loop space that we've made, we've made all these little loops. Into here, we're going to do a treble crochet cluster. If you're in the USA, this is a double crochet cluster. So yarn over, and we're going to put three stitches into that space. So that's one yarn over and go through the space yarn over and pull through two loops yarn over and pull through two more so that's has got two I'm going to do a third one if you're in the UK this is a treble crochet and if you're in the USA this is a double crochet so we're doing a treble crochet cluster into each space if you're in the UK and it's a double crochet cluster if you're in the USA or another country. So I'm going to chain one and move to my next space and do my cluster. That's one treble crochet, two treble crochet and three. Chain one and move to the next space. Just go into the next big space. And we're going to, oops, I didn't do my yarn over. We're going to do that all the way along to the end. And we'll have a cluster in each space. So this is what I have so far. Now don't worry if you're, once you've done your clusters, that your blanket's going like this. We'll pull it in with this next row. So what we're going to do now is I've got my last set of clusters in here and I'm going to take the stitch from the blue yarn. Now you can use any colour of yarn that you want and you can do this in any yarn. It doesn't have to be this one that I'm using. I'll just pop my pin down there. Now I'm going to take my stitch from my blue and put it onto my hook and I'm just going to pull it through that yellow pull it through the yellow stitch now just leave the yellow there and we're going to take up the blue and i'm going to chain two one and two and i'm going to turn my work now just ignore the yellow i'll move that out of the way 
So I've just pulled the yellow out of the way. That's my blue tail. We'll stitch that tail in later. Now I've done my two, my chain of two here. What I'm going to do now is we're going to be working down into these double crochets that we made. Can you see them down in there? That's where we're going to be working. Right, they were going to ignore this and we're going to go down into here. We're going to do what's called a V stitch. That's in the UK, it's a treble crochet, chain one and another treble crochet. If you're in the USA, that's a double crochet, chain one and a double crochet. So I'm just going through this double crochet stitch, pull my yarn through, right through, pull your stitch up a little bit, yarn over and through two loops, yarn over and through two loops. So it's coming around your work like that. Chain one and go back in to that double crochet. I'm going to put a treble crochet in there again. If you're in the USA, that's a double crochet. I'm not going to do any chains. I'm just going to straight over to the next one. And that's what's going to pull all this in. So yarn over and go into your double crochet. And pull through. Pull your stitch up a little bit. Pull it up. Through two loops. Yarn over and through the next two loops. Chain one. Yarn over and go into that stitch down there again. Pull your yarn up. And that's you made a V stitch. We're going to do that all the way along. So into the next one, yarn over. Oops, don't catch any of your other colour. Pull your stitch up a little bit. Chain one and another treble crochet to complete that V stitch. Move along to the next one, yarn over. We're not doing any chains. Chain one and another treble crochet. We're not chaining any to get to the next space. So just yarn over and go into that next stitch. This is quite a quick crochet stitch this. It's a quick design as well. Straight over to the next one. Stay along. Putting a V stitch into each of those little double crochets that we did down there. This is beautiful. Look at that. So I've got my last V stitch done. And the more I'm doing this, the more I love this mixture of colours. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put a treble crochet down into this corner. So just do a yarn over and go right down into this corner. Pull up your stitch and do one treble crochet. Now make your stitch big and don't worry about this one coming out because your tail and that's there, that's going to hold that in. So put this onto your pin or you can just pull it you can just pull it up tall like that and leave it if you want. But we'll stick it on the pin for safety. And we're going to the other side again. I'll just move my blue tail out of the way. So we're going back to our yellow yarn. What I'm going to do is I need to put turn it just that way for a second. I'm going to put my hook through there and just pull my yarn through. Just pull it through so you're at the top here like this and turn it round. One, two, three. Now into the top of each B stitch we're going to do the clusters again. So yarn over and into that B stitch there we're going to put three treble crochets. That's one two and three and if you're in the USA this is a double crochet chain one and move along to the next V stitch 
We're going to do that all the way along to the end. Next one, two, and three. Chain one, and one, two, and three. Chain one. Now these are going to be the two rows that you'll repeat all the time until you've got your blanket or whatever it is you're making up to the size that you want it. My last cluster of trebles and I've done a chain one. Now what you're going to do is we need to put a treble crochet in to down in here. So pull that stitch out of the way. Just pull it out of the way like that. This is the fiddliest part of this design. It's keeping the edge straight. Now down into there, we're going to put a treble crochet. So just go into that stitch at the bottom, pull through and do a treble crochet and then bring your stitch up Take that off just now, put your stitch on the hook, so now you can see what we've done, we've done our treble, our treble crochet into the bottom of that joint just to hold it. Pull your blue through your yellow, just like that, and leave your yellow there, and we're going to be working with the blue now. So again, do two chain, one and two, and that keeps your edge nice and neat when you finish with a treble crochet down into the bottom of that stitch that we had here. Turn your work. So just leave your yellow there. So where you're going now is into this stitch here. Can you see these stitches here? We're going to do a V stitch again in there. And that keeps your colours staggered across the top of each other. So your next cluster will be in between these two. So put your yarn over. So remember we've done our two chain and we're going into this stitch here. So yarn over and do your treble crochet or your double crochet if you're in the USA. Chain one and go into that same stitch. And that'll put a V-stitch there for us to do our next cluster. Straight over to the next one. Remember and pull your stitch up a little bit. Chain one and do your other treble crochet. Yarn over and go into that stitch there. You can clearly see the stitch that's there. Pull your stitch up a little bit. Chain one and finish your V-stitch with your other treble crochet. And that's a double crochet if you're in the USA. Yarn over and into the next one. Chain one and into that same stitch to do your V-stitch. So I'll show you where it is that yeah, you're going in to the top of the stitch that's in between these two clusters. These ones here, you're going into that stitch and then into that stitch and into that stitch there. Go, look how pretty that is. And again, what we'll do is we're going to go into the top corner up here, put your hook through, just pull your yellow yarn through like that and you're going to chain three. One, two, three. So you just bring your yarn up from here and do a slip stitch here, chain three and we're going into the V again and we're going to do our treble crochet clusters and if you're in the USA that's a double crochet cluster. One, two, and three. Chain one 
and move to the next one. Oops, I didn't do my yarn over. And three. Chain one and move to the next B. I'll do that all the way to the end and I'll show you the edge again because you need to keep your edge nice and straight. And this is where most people get into trouble is doing the edge. So I'm at the end again and that's my stitch on my little stitch catcher there. And you're going into the stitch underneath there. So yarn over and do a treble crochet into the bottom part of this stitch. Keep your stitch over here, your blue stitch, or whatever colour it is you're using. And do your treble crochet. Take your stitch marker off, again, that down there. And put your blue stitch on your hook or your other colour and then just pull it through that yellow. I'm pulling it through my other colour and then that's you back to doing your V stitches again. So it's chain two, chain two and turn and then into the stitch that's here we're going to do our V stitch. So that's a treble crochet, one chain and another treble crochet. And if you're in the USA, that's a double crochet. No chain this time to get over here. So into the big stitch that's in there, chain one and do the other part of your V stitch. So into this stitch here. And that's what makes that a woven part like that. This is the other side of it. That's the other side. It's really pretty. Now I know when I do that it looks kind of green, but it's not. It's blue. And you see there, you can see the blue. It's just the light coming in the window. So I've got a few more rows of my little sample done. And I finished on that V stitch. So I finished with the V stitch along the top. Now I'm going to show you how I finished this one when I done this dark purple and the white. So when I finished my yellow, I just cut the yarn and I pulled it through that stitch and I sewed the end in down the side. So what we're going to do is I've got a V stitch here. So I'm going to turn this one into a V stitch at the corner. So I'm going to chain one and just down in here, I'm just going to do a treble crochet. I'm just going to poke my hook in to wherever it goes and pull it through. And I'm going to put a V stitch into this corner. Chain one and put one more in that same place. And that'll take me around the corner because I've got a V stitch here and I've got a little space there I can use to put some stitches in and a V stitch. So just go in there, do a treble crochet. If you're in the USA, this is a double crochet. Chain one and go into the same space. And that's me done a V stitch there. And I'm going to work my way down. So the next one, I'm just going into that space, I'll go in to here, just right through that little cluster, chain one and go in there again. I'll move to the next joint and put a V stitch in there, that's one treble, one chain and a treble crochet back into the same space. I'm going to move to this treble here, this cluster, and I'll just put one in there. Chain one and back into that same space. So I'm putting my V-stitches 
in this cluster area here, in this in this side part, and then one here, and one there, and one here. Into the corner, I'm going to do one here, one in the corner, and then one into this loop here. Just to get me around the corner. Chain one, and one more treble crochet to complete that V-stitch. I'll move to the very corner, right into that very corner. Chain one and in and do that, the other part of that V stitch. That will bring me around the corner. Now I'm going to do one into each of these loops along the bottom. It's quite evenly spaced out. Chain one and one into that loop. Move over to the next loop. This was the loops that we did at the very beginning. Put my V stitch in into the next one. Chain one and a treble crochet. So I've put all my V stitches down the side. I'll run them along the bottom and then I'll come up the other side and again I'll take in those chains Remember the chain of three that we did of the yellow? Well, just make sure that they go in and your clusters are all nice and neat. And I'll come back and show you what to do next. So I've gone right around my blanket, my little blanket, my little mini blanket, with the V-stitch all the way around. And I've got back to my corner. Now, I've done one here. And as you can see what it's done, it's taken away those chain threes and just left your little clusters down the side. Now I'm going to put one into this corner, just to keep my corner right. Chain one and the second part of that V. Now because I've got my V stitch along the top anyway, I'm just going to slip stitch my way across into this first space. So I'm just going to slip stitch along here and then into the space. Slip stitch into that first V space along my top. Now that's my top and that's my sides and it's really neatened up all the sides as well and it's made your clusters look nice and clear. What we're going to do is I'm going to chain three, one, two, three, and I'm very simply going to put clusters in each of these V's all the way around, just like we did in the middle, but they're going to be blue clusters. So I'm going to put two more treble crochets into this V here. If you're in the USA, this is a double crochet. So that chain of three will make my first one. Chain one and I'm going into my next V here. Put a cluster in there, that's one, two, and three. Chain one and move to the next V stitch. So we're going to put a cluster in every V stitch. Chain one and move to the next one. Now when I go around the corner, I'll do a cluster here, a cluster in the one that's in the corner, and a cluster in this one. And that'll bring me around the corner. I'll work my way down here. I'll put a cluster in each of these V-stitches. The same at the bottom. I'll put my clusters in around the corner and all the way around and back to the beginning. So once I've done that, I'll come back and show you my finished little cuddle blanket that I've made with this size. Even though this is a sample, it'll still be really nice as a little, a little comfort blanket for a little child. So I've worked my way all the way around and I'm just going to slip stitch to the top of this chain of three that I started with. Just pull a slip stitch and pull it through 
I'm going to cut my yarn and then just pull it through that loop. I'll sew that in later. So that's my little cuddle blanket all finished. And it's really pretty with these two paint box colours. Look at that, it's beautiful. And this is how it, oh, that's how much I've got left, by the way, just by doing this little sample. And it's still a lovely little size for a cuddle blanket. But you can make this as big as you want, as long as you do your stitches and sets of three. And this is my purple one. That's the purple one I did, the purple and and that's the purple and white one that I've done. I'll just sit that down there. And that's the other one. So that's the other side of the blanket. And that's that side. It's totally reversible. And this is what it looks like once I put all my treble clusters around those Vs that we did. And it makes it look really pretty. Look at that. I even got the corners right. And it's really nice. And that is it. That is how you make this cluster mosaic style blanket. And it's really pretty. Give it a try. That purple one's absolutely beautiful as well. Try any colour combination that you want. You can even change the clusters. You can even change the colours of the clusters when you get to the end. And when you do your next row, just tie on a different colour for your clusters. It's up to you. So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Please just click on that subscribe button. And if you click on that bell icon, then YouTube will tell you when I put up another tutorial. So give us a try. They're beautiful, especially this one's beautiful as well. Look at that. So until the next time, happy crafting and I'll see you all again soon. Goodbye.